We give glory to the name of the Lord once again this evening, Monday, 18th of May, 2020. As I welcome you to Let Us Pray session on Lagoon Radio and Lagoon TV, on behalf of the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Olumakaye, the Downsistan and Missioner of the Downsist of Lagos, Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. I am the Venerable Philip Akinwande. Let us pray. Father, I ask again this evening, as we pray together with your children, I'm asking in your name that your power will fall. You will strengthen us. You will equip us. You will again make known to us the riches that lies in the efficacy of prayer. And as we pray together, you will grant unto us victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This evening, I'm reading from the book of Jude, verse 24. Jude, verse 24. I'm sure you know that the book of Jude has just one chapter. So, I'm reading Jude, verse 24. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Again, Jude verse 24. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Of course, this epistle from Jude, our, bro our beloved brother, and of course a fantastic apostle, comes readily to mind with us tonight as the Lord encourages us in the year of our kingdom manifestation and even before we go to bed tonight. And of course, just like this inspiration came to the man of God then, same inspiration is coming to you right at the door of your house, wherever you may be listening to me, either in your radio, either at home, wherever you may be. The word of the Lord is coming to you again. And the Lord is saying, Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. People of God, what the Lord is saying to every one of us tonight from this verse of the scripture is that number one, God is able to keep you. He's able to keep you. And so, I don't know wherever you may be, I don't know the trouble you have in your mind, I don't know where you think you are troubled, where you are troubled, where you have been looking for who could help you, who could keep you, who could deliver you from COVID-19, from saving your job, from dying, from whatever, from the attack of the world, God is able to keep you. Look at that scripture again. Now to him. Oh, I love this. Now to him who is able, is able, it's not, it's not a try and error issue. He is completely able to keep you, keep you from what? From stumbling. Ah, you see, that is the power we have in the Lord. He has the ability to keep us from stumbling so that you will not dash your foot to be moved. You will never go down. He will keep you from stumbling. And not only that, number two, he also has the ability to present you faultless. That means he imputes his righteousness unto you. You are faultless. And so nobody will be able to see any fault on you, just like he did for Daniel. When the enemy came to make him stumble, God presented him faultless. And so he was presented faultless. He will do much more for you tonight, even as we pray together in the name of Jesus. Before the presence of his glory, ah, he takes you to the point of his glory. And of course, with exceeding joy. This will be the portion of somebody that can say better amen tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. How will you be able to get all this? We pray together. You must not joke with prayer. And you must give your life to Jesus. And you must run away from sin. Then all these promises will be able to come to pass in your life. God bless you in Jesus name. Can we take our prayers together? Can you say after me? Every situation, every trouble, every attack against me. O oh Lord, fight and subdue them tonight. In the name of Jesus, 
Amen. Can you pray that prayer point for yourself? Lord, I pray for your children. Every situation, every trouble, every attack that is against them. Father, I pray for these children of yours listening to me tonight. Fight and subdue them for them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. You will show forth in their life. You will show forth in the affairs of their destiny. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take the second prayer point with me and say, Father, I declare that I will not stumble in life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray for your children tonight. They will not stumble in life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, I pray for you. You will not stumble. In the name of the Lord, I pray for that children of yours. They will not stumble. In the name of Jesus. Your wife will not stumble. Your husband will not stumble. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will uphold you. He will uphold your right hand. He will strengthen you. He will equip you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take the next prayer point with me. Can you say, everyone befriending me to attack and to harm me. Father, put them to shame tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray for your children. I declare and declare concerning them anyone that is befriending them, that is making coming closer to them just because they want to attack and harden. In the name of the Lord, I pray they will be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Take the next prayer point and say after me, exceeding joy of the Lord is my portion. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray for your children tonight. I decree that exceeding joy of the Lord shall be their portion. Receive exceeding joy of the Lord. Exceeding joy of the Lord is your portion all the days of your life. I decree joy of the Lord concerning you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's pray for the church of God, particularly the Diocese of Lagos Anglican Communion. Can you say after me, I declare... That the diocesan bishop of Lagos, the right reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishabi Olumakaye, shall be victorious over any evil plot in the name of Jesus. His reign as the bishop of the diocese of Lagos shall be peaceful. Go ahead and pray for him in the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit your son unto you. In your name, I declare concerning him as I join my faith with other children of God tonight. His reign in the dances of Lagos as the bishop shall be peaceful. In the name of Jesus. We commit all the parishioners, all our members in the dances of Lagos Anglican Communion, their loved ones, we commit them unto you. Father, they are alive with a counter peace. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Lift up your right hand as we pray for Nigeria. Can you say after me and say, Father, remember Nigeria in your mercy and help her to recover from all our oppressors in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we lift up our voices together tonight as I join my face together with that of other children of God, wherever they may be. Lord, we decree and we declare that you will remember Nigeria in your mercy. Let there be mercy on Nigeria, Lord. Let there be mercy on Nigeria, Lord. Let there be mercy on Nigeria, Lord. In the name of Jesus, cause Nigeria to recover from all our oppressors. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decree that you will purge our land. You will purge our land from any form of sickness. Let there be peace again in our dear nation. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Lift up your prayer request as I pray with you tonight. If you don't have it, you can lift up your right hand as I pray with you. I'm sure you have your prayer request in your heart. Lord, I thank you once again for your children tonight. Glory be to your name in the name of Jesus. They lift up their request to you in their hands and in their hearts. Lord, I pray for them tonight. You will go through all these requests. You will grant unto them exceeding joy according to your word in the name of Jesus. Let there be peace in their life. Let there be peace in their home. Let every request turn to testimony in the name of Jesus. I decree concerning Nigeria, Father, remember this nation in your mercy. Remember Nigeria in your mercy, Lord God. Restore to Nigeria all that the enemy has taken away. Let Nigeria recover from all our oppressors and let there be peace in our land in the name of Jesus. As your children sleep tonight, Father, you will be with them. Grant them, O Lord, sound sleep, that they will sleep well like a baby and they wake up tomorrow like a giant to the glory and praise of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Again, this evening, I want to thank you, beloved, for joining us on the program. Let us pray. Please stay tuned to Lagoon Radio and Lagoon TV as you continue to enjoy rich spiritual program that will be coming your way. Don't forget to download Lagoon Radio for iOS and Android devices on Apple Store and Google Play Store. 
Don't forget also to join us through our Facebook handle at Lagoon Radio Nigeria. Also on Instagram and Twitter, our account is at Lagoon Radio NG. You can also join us for regular live video broadcasts on www.youtube.com slash Lagoon TV. Again, beloved tonight, on behalf of the Dowsing Sun and Missioner, the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishibi Olumakaye, I am the Venerable Philip Akewande, the Director of Directorate of Prayer Convocation, Dowsing of Lagos, Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. Have a peaceful night rest tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>